Hello, I, I'm Peter Bevis and I'm the public face of Highland Titles. Uh, and 15 years ago, I never imagined that I would be sitting here looking at this beautiful Scottish landscape on such a beautiful day with trees growing all around me. 15 years ago, I was in New York. I worked for Mount Sinai Hospital. I was the director of the Division of Clinical Trials, so nothing like what I'm doing now. But when that job finished up and I came back to the UK, I decided that I'd come to Scotland. I lived in Scotland for a few years as a child. Uh, I absolutely adore Scotland. Uh, and all the time that I've been away from Scotland, either in England or in, uh, in New York, uh, I've come back many times every year to walk in these uh, beautiful mountains. We bought a, a very tired uh, farm uh, in Glen Spean. It had been overgrazed by sheep. It had been owned by a, a gun nut uh, who had uh, shot at everything living. So there were no birds, there were no trees, there was just grass. And fortunately we had a, a wonderful neighbour called Ian Gillis. Um, who was a forester and he had a passion for trees um, and he planted trees as his son still does. So we created loads of little woods, loads of little shelter belts, loads of hedges all over Tullock and <laughs> when we really put about as many trees in as we could uh, my daughter came up with a, uh, an interesting idea. She said why don't we take one of these woods we split it up into souvenir plots, we'll sell them on eBay and we'll use the money to buy another tired piece of land that's been overgrazed by farmers uh, or, or inappropriately planted by foresters. And I said, what a stupid idea. I mean, really, Laura, be sensible. Nobody's going to buy a square foot of Scotland. What would you do with it? Well, she said they, it would give them a stake in the land, it would give them a reason to visit, it would give them some uh, reason to listen to our explanation as to uh, why Scotland needs to be uh, reforested, rewilded as it's now more uh, popularly called, um, and give it a try. So reluctantly we gave it a try. My, my wife's uh, a, a, a barrister, a lawyer. She insisted that we go and talk to our family solicitor first, so we consulted uh, him and he said yep absolutely no reason not, there's no uh, legal uh, problems with that and we went ahead and we set up a company and we started selling square feet of Scotland on eBay and the first sale was made in April 2006 so that's just a few days more than 10 years ago. So we're celebrating our 10th anniversary. After 18 months, we'd raised enough money to buy Keel Hill, and this is Keel Hill. And in the, uh, the nine years that we've, uh, we've owned Keel Hill, we've, uh, we've done a, a great deal to it. We've put in tracks, we've involved uh, the local people, local schools, we've used it uh, for education. Uh, we've repaired uh, an old lochan which uh, had drained away because the, uh, the outlet had, uh, uh, had eroded. We've dug a new huge lochan which is uh, to my right here. Uh, we've stocked it with wild trout that uh, brings in uh, uh, birds that, uh, that eat uh, fish. For example, the heron uh, is now a regular visitor. We have camera traps. They trigger when anything moves in front of them and we photographed the local wildlife that, uh, that is increasingly returning. Otters, pine martins, foxes, of course roe deer and red deer which were here anyway and probably there are too many of them although we do, we do like to see them. So ten years on I'm sitting here looking at the, uh, the birch trees that are now ten years old uh, and uh, I'm thinking where will we be in 10 more years? Hopefully we'll have bought several more um, pieces of tired land. We bought our second already, we're looking at our third. 
Um, and the future is, uh, is very satisfying. And thanks to everybody who supported us.